Hello, 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 this is Eric Reggett 505. So what we're doing today, it's a little bit different thing. So I start reloading. And the problem with reloading is sorting your brass. So when you go to the shooting range, uh, you clean up the floor and you keep, you know, whatever yours and sometimes whatever other people. The problem is that when you get it, you have to sort through it. And there is some mechanical device to do that. There is some buckets and all kind of like, I don't have any of those because I just started. it. So I'll show you what I'm doing so far. And you guys can give me later tips uh, if to do it in a different way. So let's pour those here. Now, so what I did so far, uh, all the all the uh, ammunition that I'm actually pouring here already gone through the polisher. So it's all kind of pretty nice and clean. And what I'm doing right now, I'm just soaring through it and separating between the nine millimeters, the 357 Magnum, 38 Special, and all those. And then I, I'm taking out all those um, silver but actually aluminum casing that I'm not sure if those are reloadable at all although that it might be I getting rid of all those uh, 22 long rifle those 22 long rifle I don't think that uh, it's even worth the time to waste on those to to do it like so cheap like like they are seven cents or something uh, each one but this is how it looks so what I'm gonna need to do is when you get older you probably want to take glasses to look because what happened is when you look here on the back it will tell you what it is for example yeah i don't think it's gonna zoom in but this one for example 38 special so i'm gonna put it with a group of the 38 special so what i'm gonna do i know more or less uh the size right now for the 38 special so i'm gonna try to grab as many as i can for the 38 special and then again, since I already run them through the tumbler and fix it, it should be clean. But look at this. So this and that look very close, but it's two different. This one a 357, and this is 38 special. So the 357 and the 38 special, uh, some rifle you can that are designed for 357 Magnum will take 38 special. And the thing is with the 38 special when you when you're doing that. Uh, it's the same size ammo, a little bit shorter, so it's have less kick on it. So usually if you let like a, a woman shoot it, uh, you're probably going to want to put like the lower uh, power so they have less recoil and they're not going to get hit by the, by the rifle in their face. So let's put those aside. So what I do before I put them in the boxes, I set them up on, here on the table and then later I move them to those boxes. Uh, the reason that I do it this way, just like to make sure again, that uh, when they are going to those boxes, they're already ready to get um, to get reloaded. And again, this is 357. And now if you think about any other way to do that, just let me know if you have a better way. Um, what I'm gonna try to later do, I'm gonna try to engineer something with my 3D printer that will be a small kind of sifter that you actually put them in, they will fall by size. I know some stuff like that already available, but why should I buy something if I can make it myself in, like, you know, in, in my own shop? Uh, so this is what I'm doing right now, and you can see, like, this is, like, actually 44 Magnum, and then this is actually for my Desert Eagle, and I think I have also over here some, uh, the 50 AE, let's see, I have somewhere here, like, 50 AE also for my, for my Desert Eagle. So this is what I'm doing the last couple uh, hours and I'm just sorting through the breath. So it's pretty cool. And don't forget like, subscribe and share and jump to one of my other video for RC cars or something. Watch it a couple minutes just so we can get some money from YouTube. YouTube demonetize all those things about uh, weapons. So I'm going to start doing a series about how i going to do the loading because I'm going to do something really special. Um, when you when you're going to load something so there is a loading chart of course there is the the bullet uh itself the tip by the way the bullet is what you're shooting at this is called a cartridge so a lot of people don't understand the difference the bullet is what coming out from this and getting shot forward this is the cartridge and it's it's assembled from the cartridge itself and then you're going to have here the primer the those primers actually going to pop out there is a uh, you put it in a device that actually pushing it from inside and just popping it up and i'm going to show actually how to do that it's actually a pretty cool process um it's a little bit boring but it's actually cool that you can do that and save money uh, and i'm going to show how to do that so 
bullet on the front this is the casing and then this is together with a bullet is calling an ammo so a lot of people don't understand when they go to the stores or are ordering online bullets and they get only the tips oh but i order a bullet why did they send it because this is the casing with a bullet in top of it he'll will consider an ammo so i'm gonna keep sorting those things out and later i'm gonna show you guys the result and i guess we're gonna go from there and do a couple other cool videos and go watch my series of video that we start doing right now shooting in the desert there's a lot of cool stuff over there see you in my next video this is uh eric redjet 505 bye